Hey, everybody. Welcome to What Drives Us, a very special episode just for the Tesla electric semi reveal. I, electric semi? Is that we're going to? I mean, it's not electric tractor. It's not electric truck. Electric semi. Electric semi. Electric sure. semi. Hey, Tesla hey, semi. Tesla works. implies electric. In, in, in the next few minutes, we may have some other panelists uh, uh, joining us, but I just wanted to get this thing started so that those of you, uh, those 10 of you already who are here, uh, had something to look at. Thank you so much for joining us. Yay. My name is Russell Frost. I am your host this evening, and I am lucky enough to be joined by some of my best friends here. Uh, let's introduce them. Uh, the guy that you, uh, the guy with the red stripe down there, he is our man in the Great White North, Mr. Mark Coglin. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the special event show. And is everyone ready to have their minds blown clear out of their skulls? I have my portal gun ready. Man, the expectations are like this high. Already, and we haven't even started. You just you just read a tweet from Elon, and the expectations are sky high already. Sky high. We'll uh, see. We uh, the, the the young man uh, on the end, uh, the man you haven't seen in several months, but you probably know him. Uh, he is our man in Portland, Oregon, Mister Patrick Connor. Hello. Elon sure does uh, get himself in trouble with raising those expectations, <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> That's not even <laughs> that. I mean, yeah, that it's was his last... biggest strength and his biggest weakness. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. without a doubt, without a doubt. And speaking of strengths and weaknesses, the man with no weaknesses, our man in Chicago, my wingman for this show, Mr. Tony Schaefer. Oh, I think, um, yeah, uh, let's talk production numbers. Am I raising expectations too high, Tony? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Of semi trucks, <laughs> that yeah. shows about semi trucks. Yeah. All, yeah. All I'm seeing is yes, Russell is imbibing for this show. All right. That's what a special episode. I is. um did tonight. It's it's so late. It is ten o'clock. Uh, it's going on ten o'clock here in Chicago. So um, actually, I just have a cup of tea. Um, I I can't show you the tea because I'd pour it all over my keyboard, of course. But uh, but I did I did put a little too much flumely in my tea, so it's it's a little difficult to drink right now. I'm sorry. What? Flumely. Flumely? What's that? Yes. Flumely. I, hold on. I have to find out. Flumely. I have is, no idea um, what you're talking about. Is this radioactive or? I, I'm wondering it's if it's legal in Colorado. <laughs> no, 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 no. So let's see. Um, Every time you get an oil change in Colorado, you get some flumely. Yes. So <laughs> let's see. Screen share application. This one. Go. Flumely. It is a sort of a schnapps meant to be schnapps. put in, um, uh, in coffee, and it's a very European. And I've never heard of that. Yeah, yeah. The the, the version the the Flumely that I have is a Zuger. Uh, it's distilled in Zug, Switzerland. Um, wow. Flumely. I put it in my peppermint tea. It kind of goes well with since it's kind of a peppermint tea anyway. Goes well with the peppermint. The world traveler is schooling us. Yeah, I was going to say, so you're drinking anyway. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I'm saying anyway, yeah. Exactly. I'm, I'm getting nice. hammered anyway, the hell with it. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm non-judgmental, man. You know that. Yep, yep. Well, uh, it, so we're waiting at this point. We have about nine minutes uh, before, allegedly, Tesla's going to start the event. Um, and... Uh, we're just, are we taking are we taking bets odds do we have polls yeah I, we should uh, we should get the drinking game going so we need mm -hmm. to come up with our buzzword bingo words i i asked on facebook earlier today i don't know if anybody's thrown it yeah out i there. did i did oh yeah and who who was it uh geez i'll have to look somebody had some really good ones really all right my my suggestion was um person. just to drink see because it's a it's a semi truck that I'm assuming is going to use dry battery pack, then I was suggesting that a, a, a semi-dry red wine uh, <laughs> would be good to drink. Nice. Very nice. See? What pairs well with a Tesla semi-reveal? <laughs> maybe rosé, depending mm -hmm. on the country you're in. And diesel, I think. You could just slug diesel. Yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> you have to pour that on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> My brother. No alcohol. Absolutely. <laughs> Now we did get some uh, information earlier that uh, the day that uh, this event's going to be held on the Hawthorne airstrip, or part of it, because uh, a number or a, a, a person that uh, 
houses their jet in one of the hangars there was uh, indicating on social media that uh, their hangar has been commandeered and oh, is going to be used for the event today. And they were offered uh, X amount of dollars in order to uh, vacate the hangar. Wow. Um, so so uh, Tesla is going to be using the hangar uh, for some, maybe it's part of the presentation, maybe it's part of the demonstration, maybe both. Wow. Yeah, it must be rough to have you, uh, to get paid to vacate your airplane hangar for the night. Yep. And I got a shot of what was going on last night or into the morning uh, uh, as they were uh, getting, uh, getting things ready. So nice. they had it all lit up as they were wow. uh, working through the morning or the evening last night, getting ready for this show. So is it an empty your glass kind of moment if at any point there's semi-trucks racing on? <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 That, that's definitely going to happen. Yeah. They've talked about having the tug of war. <laughs> oh, no. oh, wow. They have like 100,000 people versus the Tesla. <laughs> I mean, exactly. I love yeah, it. Tesla semi against a, a diesel semi. Let's. Uh, I want to um, see that. Mm. Mm. That 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 I would I would pay to see. Yes. Well, I, I, I'm hoping they did the tug of war. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Bring out a regular Peterbilt, hook it up, and then to just go at it till they smoke the tires off of it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So <laughs> down to the I, rim. That's when it. That's when you declare the winner. I, I have to interrupt for a, a quick second. Apparently, we have a stalker in the uh, in the live chat. Um, oh, good, sweet. The man who is not being charged with sexual abuse for taking pictures of boobies in the Galapagos. Oh no! <laughs> Doctor Evan Fusco has uh, said aloha oh, from Quito. That music you hear is music that just came up on the Tesla page. Oh yeah. By the way. So the music just came up, and the graphic is still the same. You can see the clock behind me is now correct if you've ever a regular what drives us. Oh, hey, what do you know about that? That clock has not been correct for the last few months. Now it's correct. We have five minutes to show time. Also, I want to give a shout-out to uh, Bradley Temperley. Uh, Bradley had the best response for the drinking game. He said, so anytime you hear the words safety, paradigm shift to long-haul trucking, <laughs> um if if a if a tesla trucker hat is either worn or spoken <laughs> end of dot 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 as we know it um he says 30 minutes oh uh, maybe he's talking charge time self-driving self-parking self-deprecating <laughs> uh, self-deprecating <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> so hats off, Bradley. Those are all really good. Those are awesome. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. We got to add Breaker Breaker uh, and uh, Niner. <laughs> <laughs> Any oh, cowboy boy. reference, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any Smokey and the Bandit reference? Any, any be, convoy? That would be awesome. Con yeah. 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 They're, they're gonna they're gonna play the convoy song before it starts. That's right. <laughs> yeah, boy. So I'm any, sorry. Uh, no, no, BJ and the bear reference. Yeah, oh, <laughs> BJ and the bear. Oh, God, Left turn, that. Clyde. Any of those? <laughs> Did you say that Evan is in the chat room, Tony? Oh yeah, Evans. Evans there. Yeah. Oh, so my. so, please talk smack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Our own Evan Busco in the chat room. Please, chat room people. Up. <laughs> on vacation and we're here working okay go for it and hold the yeah. board over there <laughs> but hi evan and uh tamara hope you're having fun yeah we got lee and jt and ben right, right now so um hey to the the regulars always beautiful to see people there how many people are in the chat room right now um i'm seeing 42 Nice. nice. Well, no, I'm sorry. Well, 42 uh, active viewers, and uh, right now counting myself, it looks like four in the chat room. Okay. So, so if you're if you're viewing, hop in the chat room and uh, talk smack. We love that. Absolutely. To me, baby. You ask it's, questions. You know. Yeah. Uh, it's seven, too bad that Hangouts and YouTube aren't owned by the same company, so we could just have one collective chat. Oh wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess they're under different letters in the alphabet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 
But funny enough, they, they work inside the new Whammo cars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whammo, Waymo, yeah. <laughs> Waymo. They're both kind of toy cars. <laughs> yeah. We talk Faraday Future last night, which, by the way, has exploded delightfully. Uh, and then, boom, the, 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 let's see, they exploded on Monday, and then somebody dumped another $90 million into them or something? Yep. I can't even imagine. Wow. It wasn't I, me. I want to know who that was. Oh, I have a bridge to sell them. Um, it mm -hmm. was, oh, my God. I know who this was. Um, was it Bezos? Tata. Tata Motors. Uh, <laughs> Tata. In, uh, yeah. Wait. Tata? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They actually usually make good investments. I, so I'm well, shocked. And, it, and it's not just Tata Motors. I mean, Tata is huge. Tata it's, is yeah, a lot of stuff. But this is... Uh, I'm going to switch to the, the broadcast feed here. Um, so you won't see me, and no one's going to be sad about that. Um, <laughs> but uh, the, the, the theory is, though, that there, there's patents there that are valuable. Tata's owned by the same company that owns Range Rover, um, and they're talking about electric vehicles. There could be a very good investment for them. Right. So if they're just buying it so they have first dibs on all the scraps, maybe that is a smart move. Absolutely. I mean, otherwise, I, I certainly I, does anyone with a brain cell active in their head buying them because they think the FF91 is going to be something, or that they needed that styrofoam car? <laughs> yeah, maybe that was it. That's They've their, got a place picked out in their car museum, and they need a, that styrofoam that's car. That's right. That's right. Blank check, yeah, just whatever it takes. Absolutely, <laughs> it's going to be a prop in the in the next Blade Runner movie. As we're about to start the live broadcast, hopefully, um, assuming Tesla's on time. For those of you who haven't watched before, we're gonna we'll play the audio and the video from uh, the Tesla event. We will talk over it at times. Um, we, you know, if, if there's something important going on, obviously we're gonna let that audio go through so you can see it. But um, you know, if you've ever seen these events, there's lots, usually lots of fluff and whatnot. Oh, you know, what we do need is a pool. How long are they gonna go this time? Oh, what's there? And to talk speaking about? of pools, we also need one on range. What's the range of the semi going to be? I'm, so, up for, I'm up for 180 miles. I'll take the over on that. Yeah, I, I was, I was going to say 350. I was going to say 300. One dollar. Okay. One dollar. Uh, I'll go, and this is higher than any of the speculation that's been out there, I'll go 400 miles. There you go. Pat Patrick's got the over that's, on the range. That's crazy. N none of the Tesla cars go that far. You know how many batteries it would take in a big truck to go that far? That's just stupid. Or or, you know what I'm or, or what's or what's or what's <laughs> the kilowatt? What is will they name the kilowatt amount? Oh. Mm. No, they won't. No. Yeah. I yeah. want no, I want a I want a megawatt. Hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. One megawatt hour. It's just one giant you know, uh, quadruple Z battery. No people. <laughs> No, people, that is not a trailer. It's a battery. <laughs> right, right. Yes. The trailer comes after the battery. Well, so the other thing is, will will it have battery swap or not? Good point. We had mentioned before that battery swap would be um, perfect for the space behind the cab in front of the trailer to just drop a big power wall or, you know, something like that. Yeah, well, like slide it in from the side type thing. Or the top, yeah. So I have a weird idea. Um, mm -hmm. I think they're going to have trailers that have batteries. And the, the, so the, the, the truck itself will have, I don't know, 200 miles range. And then it can hook up to a trailer, and the trailer has batteries. If the trailer has another five or 600 miles of range, then you drop off that trailer, you hook up to another trailer, boom, you're ready to go. You, you have sort of a battery swap, but you have it without having a bunch of... Um, you don't have to have swap stations for that because so the batteries hook up, put, drop off. Well, wait a minute, what's the point of the having a semi if the trailer is full of batteries? No, the, the like the bottom of the trailer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, got it, got it. Okay. It's okay. Patrick, you patent this okay. idea? <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> and if not, well, I don't know. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's that one right, right there. That's it. It's that one. <laughs> no, no, that actually, uh, yeah. I don't know though. It's just a crazy idea. I'm just basing that on nothing other than that would be cool. Yeah, no, I agree. I think yeah, that's a yeah. great idea. Well, now you guys have seen, and we've talked about this, 
the um, there was a there was a country I don't remember exactly where it is, but they installed wires above the far right lane for electric trucks and the trucks. Yeah, that, that was Europe somewhere. Yeah, yeah, somewhere in Europe, and they were they were testing the concept. And to me, that just makes perfect sense to have these trucks with the rails on top, kind of like the old um, trolleys, and a lot of the trains do in in Europe now. Sure. And and yeah. they just they drive on electric on the highway and then they drop off um, and then they drive on battery around the city and then they hop back on the wire for long haul trucking and um, you know recharge and drive. Yeah, that's a really cool idea. It it seems a lot easier than the stuff built into the road that has to do induction charge as you go. Right. Right. Yeah. And then they would have like just a smaller battery so they could do the drop off off the highway into the city. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. 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 San you see, Francisco, you see, if, the, if, if the world would just come to us, we could have everything solved real quick. We've got mm -hmm. all these awesome ideas. Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. You know, and, and I keep saying, if you go back to some of our earlier <laughs> podcasts, we talk about why aren't we storing green energy and batteries in our basements and garages? And why aren't we putting solar panels over parking lots? And now here we are. And they're taking our ideas and making money on it. <laughs> we were the first ones to ever think of putting energy in a battery. <laughs> yes, that was us. <laughs> that was us. Really yes. us? Wow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah. So Tesla is being fashionably late for anyone watching. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we expect them. They were supposed to be on, what, six minutes ago. Yeah. But, uh, no. Obviously, they're having uh, last minute uh, things to do. I'm just. Or they're building suspense. I'm just praying that Elon's girlfriend has not dumped him today. Yeah, we wouldn't want that. Not not for a second event in yeah. a row. Although, do you remember all of our dumbfounded expressions on the Model 3 debut? We were all like, what? what? This doesn't even. And it was like, Elon's like, thank you. I'm out of here. Good night. Right, right. Yeah. And I remember as soon as he said that. One of the first comments was, that's it? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Thanks. I'm going to go cry in my beer. Peace out. <laughs> very, very expensive beer. Yes. Yeah, because I guess when Amber Heard dumps you, it probably hurts. Yep. Yes. According to the article in the Rolling Stone, he said yeah. it hurt. Mm -hmm. Well, according to Elon, I mean, that's, yeah. yeah. I mean, they yeah. weren't speculating. Yeah, they were quoting him. So, yeah. and not that, I, you know, like, I mean, I get it. Like who, you know, heartbreak. Yeah, reading that uh, article, hmm. I, I had to wonder when, uh, did, when he said some of the things he said, I'm like, did he know he was on the record for those? I yeah. guess he should be smart enough to know that when you're talking yeah. to a reporter and they're there to interview you. Yeah, anything like, you say is fair game. When someone's standing in front of you with a recorder in their hand, you got to believe it's going to get out. Like, really. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so he's, uh, he's had some rough times. He got dumped. Then there was the bottleneck at the factory. Then uh, he had their, uh, the uh, quarterly financial call, and the uh, analysts uh, beat him up over that. So yeah, he's been uh, hopefully uh, had some time to recoup before the, tonight's event. I, I'm back while uh, while we're waiting. And since we are waiting, I thought I'd share a new photo that we got uh, just this afternoon. Oh, Ooh. this is at the uh, the Fremont Delivery um, Center, and uh, there's been a couple of photos now with rows of Model Threes. Pretty nice. So we are hoping that uh, this is part of the clear of the bottleneck. Oh, um, so be cubed. <laughs> they, look, they look like uh, they look like snakes. Snatching victory from the jaws of defeat is that what it is? <clears throat> and and unlike the Henry Henry Ford's Model T, you can have the Model Three in any color as long as it's white. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> as long as it has arrow wheels, apparently. Yeah, yeah. I I, I so, can't. Uh, how ugly oh, go those are. <laughs> One of my uh, buddies who is not a Tesla employee was invited to configure his Model 3. Wow. wow. Yeah. Well, that's news. Yeah. Cool. West Coast Tesla owners, uh, a few lucky few are getting their golden tickets, and they can go and pick out their Ooh. pink color. Wow. <laughs> so Very that cool. is, I mean, that's, and does it, the delivery date is 
Um, I don't know what the delivery date is for for him. Wow. I mean, yeah. that's huge. That's, that's big news. Yeah. You heard it here first. Must quote what tribe? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and on those white ones, uh, there happen to be oh, oh, look a, that. New, a new high VIN number. So we're just below nice. 11,000 10, now. Wow. 1099. Right <laughs> on. Yep. Ten. Although those are not strictly sequential. They're no, they're not. Sequential. They're not. Yeah. But it, it is good to see the number going up, though. Yeah, and we've right. seen now uh, half dozen in the thousand range. Correct. The thing we haven't seen is what happened to like between 600 and 900. It seems like there's a gap there. Yeah, there's probably about a 300 gap somewhere that, yeah. that we have not seen any numbers for it. Which is weird. But yeah, that's yeah. The NDA and all that, you know, who knows? I, I, I hate speculating too much with no, no um, information. You think they could have? Wow, well, no, that's way too many. That's like two hundred. I was gonna say, you think they shuttled them off for long-term durability <laughs> testing around the world? But you don't need two hundred <laughs> for that. Yeah. No. Well, um, they're not out of production hell until they get to one, one, three, four. Yeah. Oh, why? Anybody got a guess why? 1134. 1135. Punch, punch it into your calculator and flip it over. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, we just went off a nerd deep nerd. right there. Nerd. <laughs> one bad joke. One nerd joke. Wow. No one will ever truly be free until nerd persecution ends. Absolutely. Yeah, I just want to say to those of you who are hanging with us, uh, viewers, uh, that we are waiting for the Tesla event to start. It is not started yet. And they it's are, not our fault. They are going late, which <laughs> is no surprise to anyone who's done this. It's no surprise to us. Mm -hmm. So if you see us chatting, it's because we're standing by. And, oh, if and, you, and, and, and if you've got uh, some time on your hands, please uh, sign up to our feeds and you can uh, come along with us every week and learn new news about the alt car and Tesla markets on our two sites. Absolutely. And what are those? Those two sites would be What Drives Us and The Tesla Life. And... And uh, again, you, you can go to face, Facebook, fb.com slash what drives us, which I have under my thing right here. That's my thumb. Um, <laughs> and, um, and then you can find um, facebook.com slash the Tesla life one. One. Yep. You can uh, right here on our channel on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe because we happen to do a show every week if you didn't know. And uh, every week when we record our show live, you can um, you join like us. Yeah. yeah, you can. You can, and then join the chat room, and you can yell obscenities at us because that's <laughs> what we live for. <laughs> Good times. Also on our um, on our uh, Twitter feeds uh, at What Drives Us and at the Tesla Life. Um, just today, uh, we got another one of those videos where a Model Three was spotted in a parking lot, actually at a supercharger in Wisconsin. First one that they've seen in Wisconsin, apparently. Uh, and that was put on the uh, feed this afternoon. And a uh, gentleman was, uh, taught, or was interviewed uh, by the person with the camera, kind of like uh, the video that was taken down yesterday. But uh, this one happened in Wisconsin, and currently the video is still up. So if you want to view that, just go to yeah. at the Tesla Life. And you can check it out. It's a nice, uh, nice red one. Uh, Do you remember what part of Wisconsin? Uh, they did mention the name La La. Uh, it was it was at a supercharger La La Crosse or. I, there, they, I don't know if there's a supercharger at La Crosse, but of course there is a La Crosse, Wisconsin. It it was La something La Prairie. Is there a La Prairie in Wisconsin? Uh, there's a few prairies. There's some. Go to the uh, Tesla supercharger map and. Hey, that's even Fine. a better idea, yeah. Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of us just naming uh, law towns that don't exist. <laughs> Madison Pleasant Prairie. It was, I, I was going to say, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Madison, but Madison and Pleasant Prairie are like Nowhere a near mile each other. and a half apart. Pleasant Prairie is... Uh, Pleasant Prairie is like due north of me. Yeah, due north of Tony. 
Uh, let's see. Mauston, Madison, Pleasant Prairie, Eau Claire, Wausau, Custer, Bailey's Harbors, Onalaska, uh, Frederick, Marshfield, Howard, Three Lakes. That's Are those all supercharger spots? Are you just naming? That sounds I'm, like an awful lot of superchargers. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's uh, that's what I'm. That's what Google's telling me now. I should go to probably the Tesla site. Yeah, there's a couple in Madison. I just pulled it up. Uh, Loves Park, that's Rockford, Illinois. There is one in Pleasant Prairie. It's just called Pleasant Prairie. Uh, there is Lake Geneva. Oh, good old Lake Geneva. Maybe it was Pleasant Prairie. Maybe that's it, because the prairie name kind of sticks in my head. Yeah, there's yeah. one on La Crosse. Um, it looks well. It, that's the on Alaska, but La Crosse, uh, yeah, Madison, yeah. Pleasant Prairie, uh, Mauston, Sheboygan, Mauston. Howard, Wausau, Eau Claire. God, they're kind of spread all over yeah, the. Yeah, yeah, they are. Are you sure it wasn't Sheboygan? Sheboygan sounds like law or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just fun to say. So let's just call it that. It's just fun to say Sheboygan. Uh, yeah, yeah. we got to fit that in. Where? Okay, everyone do a shot if Elon says Sheboygan. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a tip it all the way. If Finish the says, bottle if Elon. Right, yeah, if he says Sheboygan and Waukesha in the same sentence. <laughs> uh, look at what, 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 oh, what was that, Mark? I'm just playing the audio now. I'm trying to pick up the name. Oh, uh, so uh, while you're looking that up. Oh, yeah. A, okay. So Tim, Tim Crowley says it was Prairie something, which is present Prairie. Pleasant, Pleasant Prairie. Prairie. It was Pleasant Prairie. Prairie. There you go. Pleasant Prairie. Really? Not by you, Tony. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going to go try to find that thing. <laughs> I'm going to go shoot a YouTube video so it can be taken down. So we, <laughs> we should mention that that uh, URL under Patrick Connor's name is the URL you should use if you want to buy a Tesla. Yes. Because you will save money and get – do you still get free supercharging? Actually, you're not saving money anymore. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. No discount. You're not saving money anymore, but you still get the free supercharging. For life. And if – yep. Okay. It only applies to S and X, not to the Model 3. Right. And I think this current referral program goes through January. Yeah. Okay. And if Patrick gets one more reservation, he wins the next generation Roadster. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and by no, the, I, I, I have zero referrals. That's only 55, zero. right? You're at 55. Yes, right. I, I, I only believe, need 55 right? more out of yes. 55. Yeah. Um, 55 more out of 55. And by that, you one thirty second next generation Roadster. Yeah. No, but if I do get one referral, you can either get the uh, car, the radio flyer, little kid model S, or what I want, a high powered Tesla wall charger that uh, has Elon's signature engraved on it. And it's in a custom color that you can only get to this referral program. So wow. I just want one referral. Just one. Just one. Yep. <laughs> I'll be happy to bootleg his and signature for you. Okay, yep. yeah, you guys come over with your black can of spray paint and uh, <laughs> uh, and your little etcher. And Here's a color you'll never get, hot pink. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It's a real custom, real custom setup here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, I finally gave up and broke down and, and bought, uh, bought uh, a wall, wall charger. Hope uh, Because Oregon has an incentive for them that expires at the end of the year. Uh, and uh, so uh, I'd rather get 30% off than, than uh, hope to get the black one. Uh, okay. Very nice. Okay. Yep. But if you get so, the black one, you'll still find a way to use it. No big deal, right? This is true. Yep. Yeah, well, um, so I have the Model X now, and my wife has a Model 3 coming probably next um, August because we're waiting for the all-wheel drive dual motor oh, version. Mm. So we're going to be waiting a little longer. So, in case you're keeping score, Evan has more referrals than you. He said in the That's chat. Yeah, Evan does uh, a whole lot more for the Tesla community than I do. Do you want to know how many more he has than you? <laughs> Tell me, Tony. One. He has one. Yeah. 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 And he didn't even know the person. He. Uh, so. Yeah. Uh, it was a complete stranger. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. All right. I'm also depending on the kindness of strangers. <laughs> yep, yep. I, I like to think of it was because of the show, but 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you never know. So if you're not tuning in, waiting for the Tesla reveal, we are too. Yeah, so are we. So hey, join the party. Join us in the chat room. We got uh, we got a lively little chat room going. Oh yeah. And, so what uh, did the chat room yeah. say for range? I want to know if anybody was over my crazy four hundred number. Um, I want someone to whip out a six hundred and just go, yeah, yeah doing Evan, it. Evan is, is uh, predicting eleven 1, hundred miles. <laughs> <laughs> and right. since he's not on the show, he can't refute that. <laughs> there we go. Yep. We may have. <clears throat> Well, it's loaded <laughs> bio now, so, so is we that, shall. Is that, is that more uh, along? Yeah. So let me, let me scroll. Okay. So I'm 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 telling everyone who's in the chat right now. Okay. So Zeke says 500. All right. Um, I want everyone in the chat give your uh, give your predictions. I'm scrolling to see if anyone has uh, given a prediction sooner earlier. 175. Evan says 175. Really? Officially. Yes, it's it's not that, that's in writing. Low. So Evans around yeah. my one eighty. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sixty nine okay. from Parker. If five. Fifty from sixty nine. <laughs> yeah, I think dude, dude, five. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. Oh, so uh, we have a two fifty, a five hundred one. Who, who uh, said five hundred one? Yuli log. Yeah, yeah. You, you have to. Those Bob are jeans, Parker, I think. Yeah, one dollar. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mr. ABC XYZ. Um, has said 450 JT 450 um, talents. Hey, how's it going? Um, 367 summit 350. You got a 175 from uh, Evan. And um, let's see, a 300 by Uber subset everything. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, Danny, not that one, says 370. Brad 250. Matt 400. Lee Moon 352. Exactly. Uh, uh, Geo socket 167, not 165, not 170. And um, yeah, Evan says he's focused. He says 175 because it's a regional focus. And uh, 150 from Devon, of course, depending on the load. Um, Summit says oh, four yeah. says 450 miles for 1.5 million dollars. So we also have a dollar figure. Oh, Ooh, I like that. Yeah. I mean, Palsy, I don't I, I would be shocked if Tesla announces a price for this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I would too, because this is not going to <laughs> typical consumers. So they're going to be doing deals with the freight companies and right. Yeah. Right. And uh the the um the highest estimate we have right now is from Brad, who says um eight million six hundred and seventy five thousand three hundred and nine <laughs> miles. <laughs> <laughs> That way they can or, deliver to the sun and back and not have to or yeah, or Patrick. Somebody was really like, yeah, I it's, really want the over on this. It's eight six seven five three oh nine. Three oh nine, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, so we we have some really good viewers. Yeah, that's that's how you know you're in the right group right there. Cool. There we yeah. go. Well, although Tesla's faked us out and put a live streaming kind of frame around the picture, still no video. That's interesting. Nope. It, it's that is now we're over twenty minutes into this wait, and that's yeah, that's well, a little bit you, unusual. Please, who had, usually they would just show the crowd for twenty minutes. Yeah, right. right? right. I mean, uh, it's oh, Evan, Evan, um, Evan guessed seventeen minutes. That's come and gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the legal driving time uh, in the U.S. is eleven hours for a truck driver. And then they have to have a 10 hour break after that. Yes. And I've, I've seen regulations that they're talking about allowing truck drivers yeah. to send them um, auto, um, you know, whatever, you know, gauge themselves. Yeah. That's all. Oh, change, under the current, uh, we don't need no stinking rules administration. Yeah. Uh, that could pass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. And <laughs> you don't so if you were to drive for 11 hours <laughs> at 60 miles an hour, that's 660 miles. That's my new guess right there. Oh, oh right. Right. <laughs> but, but, that's but, logic. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Yeah, I mean, that, that works, but I mean, 660 miles, I mean, that really is long haul. I do <laughs> like the idea that that they would at least start, it would be regional. Um, but they said yeah. this was a class eight long haul. Well, okay. I, I agree. Starting regional would have been a whole lot easier. Right, right. <laughs> But then my mind would not be blown clear out of my skull. Yeah, like we're yeah, waiting for the big true. one here, right? That's like true. this is right. supposed to this is supposed to blow us away. 
I'm going. I really want to see a huge plane of paint of glass. This thing's got to be like a, just a giant uh, glass bubble. Who wants to drive a giant glass bubble? Well, we're not going to drive it. We just want to see it from the outside. Oh, mm -hmm. I mean, I just like... maybe I don't want to see the trucker in there. What they're okay. doing, maybe not. <laughs> in a magnifying glass, for God's sake! You know, the desert, and you just boom, you spontaneously combust. Yeah, you, know? you, you step out of the vehicle, and you're already done to burnt to a crisp. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that giant glass bubble theory, Patrick. Okay, but, we'll see. But you know what? Here's but, here's, here's something I was just thinking is you know speaking of the eleven hours and the self regulating and whatever, if it's got autopilot, eleven hours becomes a lot easier. Yeah. Oh yeah. How so? Well, because you don't have to worry as much about highway hypnotism. You know, you can because you're already asleep. Right. I, I was just gonna say I'm gonna argue that that is not. The way things work in real life. Oh, but, it certainly is for me. When I took that trip down to San Diego, the fact that I could pop it on autopilot meant that I didn't have to be paying constant attention. I could I could have a little distraction, not like ignore the road. But then it, it, it didn't. I didn't get tired. I didn't get fatigue from that level of attention that you have to have going all the time. And I, we're talking cross country trucking. We're not talking rush hour all the time. I, I mean. I, you're talking I-80 through Nebraska and, and Iowa. You know, if, if the truck can just go in a straight line for 200 miles, you're golden. All I'm thinking about was the 30 seconds of video we ran in the show last night of the dude in the yeah, yes. Okay, Laying yeah. back in his seat, smoking the big fatty. Uh-huh, yep. This was on autopilot. Yes. Okay, well, how many times has he done that with any other car <laughs> that didn't have autopilot. If he's going to be doing that, and somebody who does that is doing that regardless of the car's technology, I hope he has autopilot. At least something's driving. I, I, <laughs> right, right. I, uh, that's a pretty low bar, is all I'm going to yeah. say. <laughs> right, yes. And, you know, all the and, more and reason we need autonomous cars, because people are stupid. Well, I don't <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and of course, we, and we, we do have people in the chat room who are, who are talking here. You know, Dwayne is saying the truckers usually wait for shippers to load the truck, so it causes fatigue because they're still on the clock uh, while that's happening. And, uh, and Geo Sackett asked, you know, what about bumper to bumper in New York City? But that's the situation in which you expect the driver to take control. So, it, you know, in, in my world, you would rest as much as possible on the long stretches and then you're more awake when you're in traffic situations that's my and, and when it's when it's stop and go just the um uh traffic aware cruise control makes it a lot easier too because if the car in front of you goes it'll, it'll roll forward and you didn't have to you know be paying attention at that exact moment and the car when it moves it it brings you right back into hey we're going okay pay attention hey they're on what? I've got video. I don't. Yeah, they're oh, just panning wait, the over the yep, stage. I got it now. Let's see it. All right, going live. There we go, Who's folks. Finally. There's your video. Look at that. We have a host, too. Jerome. Je m'appelle Jerome Guillaume. I'm the leader of the truck program here at Tesla. It's my great pleasure to welcome you here in Los Angeles. Yay! Oh, sorry. All of you, all of you have played a very important role in making this event possible and ensuring the success of Tesla. Many of you here have given lots of referrals for the sales. Thank you very much. Many of you over there have helped us on the track program, have given us feedback, have given us uh, a lot of advice and have placed a lot of reservations for the truck. So thank you very much for your support. You already have reservations for the truck? I want to thank all of our in Los Angeles, in the Bay Area, and at the Giga Factory for all their hard work. For something. Oh. We make a lot of sacrifices, but I think you will agree with me that it's worth it when you see those beautiful products. 
I'm personally personally very passionate about trucks. I've been lucky to work in that industry for a long time. And I'm proud to say that we have the best trucks ever. Are you ready to see them? Bring them out! Wow. Bring them out. Bring them out? It's like all of a sudden it's a Transformers movie. <laughs> Uh oh. It's Death Race 2000. Oh, the, the steering wheel's in the center of the oh, cab. That is, that is so yeah. Look at all the space underneath for batteries. I mean, I'm telling you, 600 miles, at least 350. <laughs> that was my number, Tony. Don't steal it. Nope, by now. <laughs> Aero wheels. <laughs> Evan hates them. Huh. Oh, yeah, you can see where the batteries are there. Under the tongue. Mm -hmm. So they got one set of the wheels covered, and the other one has them open. Right, right, just for steering. That's a popular um, air uh, stream strategy. I am Iron Man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit him. <laughs> uh, is that a baby truck? Or does it just not have the scoop? Oh, yeah. So there's a couple different options. The oh, fairing no. is lower. I'm going to get the truck to move it. Give the trucks to move it. Right. Of course, a Tesla truck has a pop out door handle. Welcome to the, welcome to the Tesla semi truck event. I hope you like what you see. I'm going to tell you about everything that this, this truck can do. Um, it, it blows my mind. I think it'll blow yours. Starting with performance. So we have a, an acronym we came up with. <laughs> God. That uh, I think really, really describes performance well. So, a sec technical term. Clearly named after the city in Canada. But let's mm -hmm. fifth. <laughs> in, in acceleration. So, one thing we care about Tesla is we really care about performance. We want, we want a, a vehicle that feels incredible, that accelerates like nothing else. Uh, let's show what the, the truck, uh, what, what it's like to be in a Tesla truck. This is real time. We need a truck that'll do zero to sixty in five seconds. Good. So that's of course the car goes all smashed. <laughs> five seconds. Can't haul eggs with it. <laughs> yeah. that, that's by itself or with a trailer. Now at eighty thousand pounds max gross vehicle weight, so that's the most amount of weight you can carry on a US highway. This is the real-time acceleration of a Tesla Semi. That, oh, on the left, the thing that looks like it's not moving. <laughs> the thing that I've been behind too many times. Just give it a moment. Give it a moment. <laughs> I'm sorry to bore you. I apologize. Boring. I know. Eventually, it'll get there. Alright. Even There's with a button to reserve your semi right there. Yeah. Gross, getting sixty miles an hour in twenty seconds. That's what it can do. Now what about up a hill? Okay. The the best diesel trucks can only do forty five miles an hour up a five percent grade. Tesla semi can do sixty five miles an hour at five percent grade. <laughs> At 65 miles an hour, continuous at max gross. But what this means is that if you've got a, if you're pulling a load over the Rockies or some mountainous terrain up a hill, you, you're earning per mile. You're earning 50% more per mile than you are in a diesel truck. That's a gigantic difference. So, 
Um, now, one of the biggest questions. It's actually a really good point. About yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, electric trucks is well, how far can they go? Because well, let's find out. So, five hundred mile range. Oh, oh, five hundred. Yeah. At weight and speed. That's awesome. But what does a 500 mile range mean? And by the way, it's 500 miles at maximum weight at highway speed. So you're doing like 60 miles an hour. That's a worst case scenario. But what it means is that since because the vast majority of routes, because the vast majority are, are, are under 250 miles, it means that you can go to your destination and back, even if your destination has no charging. You can, you can go there and back, go there and home, with without recharging. So you could you could deliver a load out from the middle of nowhere, and come back. So Zeke, Zeke said five hundred, and uh, Ellie Long said five hundred one. I think Ellie Long was taking into consideration regeneration. Nice. <laughs> So whereas a normal diesel truck is designed more like a barn wall, this is a bullet. See <sighs> this in the drag coefficient. So the Tesla semi has a 0.36 drag coefficient. The way what? This is a really yeah. good number. <laughs> As it, by way of comparison, if a Bugatti Chiron, which is a two million dollar supercar, has a 0.38 drag coefficient, so it's got a better drag coefficient than a supercar. By the, way, we, yeah. by the way, you can see that in the design. Um, yeah, that is sleek. Uh, how we achieve that is with the bullet-shaped nose. We also have side flaps that map to the whatever trail. Cox. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> Too much bandwidth required. Is that? Did anybody else lose it? Nope. Still going for me. Yes, I see. I'm still hearing it. Can you uh, can you um, do Patrick? Uh, no, it's on a different computer for me. Well, I'm going to try reloading it. Oh, oh, others. Ooh, other people have gone down. Parker lost oh. it. Brad lost it. Um, Ellie Long has been losing it in and out in, in Los Angeles. J.A. lost it. Everyone lost it. Oh, my God. Everybody. Oscar sums it up. He just said, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, I reloaded it, but it's still blank. It's down. I think the whole feed went down. Hey, Patrick, no, can, it's you, still get working us, can for me. you get us the audio, Patrick? I'm watching. I, I can't. It's not, well, I can crank it up. and Crank see it up. Yeah. Just put your yeah. 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 Here, I'll point my computer screen at it. Parker says reload a lot. He's back on. <laughs> see, it's still going, but you can't see it from it's on another computer. Oh, come on! If you can legally drive that. It should be legal, but um, um, you will actually be able to legally drive that with a normal driver's license. It's kind of wrong, but uh, I get it. Um, now, what about the driver experience? What does it feel like to drive this truck? So, uh, he's it's talking amazing. to a driver. It looks like they're going to have their smaller one be available with a because bed. This truck has no gears. Hmm. It's, I don't no, know. Uh, you're not constantly shifting gears. It has one one gear, so it's 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 smooth. It's like dry. Uh oh, I just lost it too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's back. No, yeah, it just had to buffer. Um, it's just big. And so really, it's super easy. To yeah, I'm totally it's responsive. It's unlike any truck that you've ever. He's just talking about how responsive it is. It's sporty. That's an awesome driving experience. You guys are right. The driver's in the middle. Oh my god! It 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 totally just hung my Chrome. Okay, I think okay, I'm back. You have complete visibility of the road and all the surroundings. Oh, they've got two screens in there, one on each side. Okay. Russell, are you refreshing a lot? I've, I've already tried to reload it three times. Oh. It's not loading. It. I just lost it again. I lost it. Yeah.
And Los Angeles has gone black. Has gone dark. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. Daimler's yeah. shutting them down. They don't want the competition. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. The, the, the Peter Brill blimp has flown over the city and shut it down. <laughs> oh, my white truck just ran into the transformer nearby. <laughs> <laughs> That's so not right. Yeah, I'm on, but I don't know if I can. I don't know how I can share. Um... You're you're seeing it. Yeah, I can. I can share my screen, but I don't know about audio. Uh, turn it up really loud. Put your mic at the computer. Okay. Wait, hold on. No, that doesn't work. Oh, that's fine. Just put your mic by the volume or turn the vo computer volume up. All right, hold on. There you go. Nice job, Tony. But the moment you get the truck, it's got everything. Good. That's good. And it'll seemingly, it seems to integrate with... But does it have a frunk? Oh, you got it. Yeah, they're showing the symbol there. But does it have a frunk? Come on. What about you know, fueling today? If you're fueling a diesel truck, you've got fumes, spills, toxic environment, prices change all the time. Um, and what a lot of people don't realize is, is it actually t it takes up to 15 minutes or more to actually fill a, a, a truck. You have to sit there for 15 minutes. Well, the tank gets full. Uh oh. As compared to charging a, a, a Tesla truck, you can charge at your origin or destination. So while while you're unloading your cargo, you can charge. Four hundred miles of range in thirty minutes. Yep. This thing about having a really big battery pack is that there's a lot of cells to spread that current over. I am Tony. Okay. But can you turn yours up? Because the volume's going up and down. As much as you want to be driving continuously, because you have to stop for a bathroom break, go get a bite to eat. Um, in fact, you're legally required to stop for 30 minutes. So, but, but you, uh, uh, 400 miles is like six plus six to seven hours of driving, which means the, the, what what this means in practice is that. By the time you are you're done with your break, the, the truck is ready to go. You will not be waiting for your truck to charge. It's a big deal. So that's got to be the new supercharger V3. Yeah, the level three. Right. Yeah. Don't say level three. <laughs> I got it, Tony. Throughout the world, you'll be able to go anywhere else uh, with a, a Tesla uh, vehicle. The same will be true of the Tesla semi. Go ahead. Yeah, I got it. Anywhere in the world on the Tesla Mega Charge network. And, uh, and, and that means we can guarantee the electricity rates because this, these will be solar powered mega chargers um, that uh, charge the Tesla the power pack. It's 24 7 guaranteed lower electricity. So with the new mega charger stations, they're going to have and because, and because these spots for these trucks. Your truck is running on sunlight. Okay. What about safety? Oh, wait a minute. Drink. Safety. Drink. The driver's safety. And we'll also talk about other cars on the road. Pedestrian. Safety for everyone. Safety for everyone. Jeez, he keeps saying it. Someone's got feedback. Patrick, are you yeah, still? We're getting a second feed. It's a very dangerous thing. Every truck we sell, Every truck we sell will have to test one of the standards. Okay. <laughs> the, the truck will automatically break. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah, agreed to two. Um, automatically, automatically break. But uh, it will actually automatically lane keep as well. So even if, even if, uh, if you're in the truck, and you have a medical emergency, the truck will stay in lane and gradually come to a halt and on the emergencies. If it doesn't hear a response from you, it'll actually call emergency services and get an ambulance. It's going to take care of you. It's going to take care of other cars. It's going to take care of pedestrians. It's a massive increase in safety. Yeah.
a few other things about safety. It's got you, with that central position, you're in a very safe position. Uh, even if you were to collide with, with, with a, another semi, uh, you have a low center of gravity that gives you really good handling. It means the probability of a rollover is massively reduced because the battery pack is in the floor pan and, uh, and, and rollover risk is, is, is dramatically reduced. Um, and perhaps most importantly, um, jackknifing is, is uh, usually the worst nightmare of a, of a trucker. Uh, how do you stop your, your vehicle from, from jackknifing if you're in, in difficult conditions? The truck will automatically stop jackknifing because it's got independent motors on each wheel and it will dynamically adjust the torque on each wheel so that jack jackknifing is impossible. Hi. Well. How does that, but on the trailer? There's motors in the trailer? Your worst nightmare is gone. I, I can't say it's in the trailer. <laughs> Miserable job. Uh, reliability. Uh, reliability is incredibly important. A, a truck is, is your life, it's your business. A truck breaks down, you're disappointing your customers. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a horrible day, it could be a horrible week. It could break down in the middle of nowhere. It's the safety issues. Uh, reliability is incredibly important. We're putting massive attention into making this truck. truck incredibly reliable and that's why we are guaranteeing that this truck will not break down for a million miles Ooh. that's a huge statement right there yeah it is we're guaranteeing it won't break down for a million miles because it has four independent motors you can lose two of those four motors and the truck will still keep going in fact even if you only have two of the four motors active it'll still be a diesel truck <laughs> it's not fair, really. Uh, so, then what, it has, you know, there's a few other benefits as well. Uh, brakes, brakes are a big deal for trucks. You gotta I don't see mirrors on the big one. Do you? A lot of brake. There's a lot of brake. No, work. I don't. But because the, with, with an electric motor, you can turn the brakes into generators. So every time you brake, that kinetic energy of braking goes right straight back into the battery pack instead of heat, instead of wearing down a brake pad. So brake pads basically last forever. The, the, you never need to replace brake pads ever. Basically. Ever. Just like my Volt. <laughs> I get that, but I hate that he yeah. says basically no brake, forever. No brake pad changes ever. You don't have to worry about transmission. No. Uh, there's, there's no transmission. Transmission can't break. Oh. There are no emissions, no scrubbers, no differentials. Um, and, and this is the feature I like best. Thermonuclear explosion proof glass. <laughs> well, well, that's required. Yes. Close. I mean, it's close. So, standard glass. Now, why is this important? Because, uh, uh, you see, look, nothing um, survived a nuclear explosion. That's incredible. So, the, 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 <laughs> actually, what's important here is. Uh, you love some superlatives. A nuclear explosion, or you get a full refund. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the the reason this is important is because uh, truck windshields are huge, and they crack about once a year. Um, and if the truck windshield is cracked, you're not allowed to drive. So it actually, it's truck off road if you have a cracked cracked windshield, and that and that means lost revenue, disappointed customers. It's a terrible it's a terrible day, and you, if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, it take ages to get a to get a new windshield. So actually, this 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 detail uh, this detail matters a lot. Uh, to to someone who really is, is understands trucking, um, it's, it's it's small but very important. Then we have, in terms of connectivity to your truck, understanding what's going on, we have the Tesla app that gives you full information about your truck. This is such sort of normal. It's like we take it for granted uh, with uh, if you've got a Model S or Model X or something like that. But this is not normal actually for trucks. You have full access to all your truck information. You got remote diagnostics. You can uh, you can see. Uh, what's going on? Preventative maintenance. The truck will actually anticipate when it needs to be when it needs maintenance and, and inform you ahead of time. But can you find your local charge point and charging the, spot? Next, with uh, the fleet. So if you're, got, if you're trying to manage a fleet of thousands of trucks, this is also incredibly important. All this data is coming in. You know exactly what's going on. Uh, it's going to uh, really help you manage your trucking. Now, having said all this, you're probably wondering how much 
is this going to cost? Here Ooh. we go. They oh. might actually release the price. Um, oh, of ownership. So that's a bigger picture. Trucking matter tremendously. If, yeah. if you have a truck, if your cost per mile is too high, it, it doesn't make economic sense. You can't make it work. So we've really thought about this a lot. And when you take everything into account, you take the least cost, the insurance cost, maintenance, all the factors, the, the fully accounted for true cost of trucking, a diesel truck will be 20% more expensive than a, than a Tesla semi per mile. So, I want to be clear, this is from day one. So from day one, having a Tesla Semi will beat a diesel truck on economics. Day one. And this is at this is a worst case scenario. So it gets better than this. This is the this is the this is the worst case scenario comparison. This is taking max vehicle gross. It's, it's going at 60 miles an hour. Um, and it's assuming $250 gasoline price. We're guaranteeing a seven cent kilowatt wholesale price. But I'm clear about that. This is real. These are real numbers, and it only gets better than this. This is a worst case scenario. So they're leasing it. Yeah, sounds like it. Yeah. Now, one truck, one a Tesla truck considered by itself beats other diesel trucks. So you're gonna say convoy? Have a convoy. No! Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Drink. <Dringo. laughs> Two trucks <laughs> following. So you, you're, you're, you're more like a train, train driver. In fact, um, the, the convoy technology, the tracking technology, this is something that we are confident we can do today 10 times safer than a human driver. So this is, I want to be clear, this is something we can do now. And wait for that plane. There you go. <laughs> Now, if you look at the economics of a truck convoy, it gets way better. Are they saying now, one driver, two truck trucks? Twice, yep, that's what they're saying. The semi. Oh. This, so it's, what this means is it's, it's not just economic suicide to use one diesel truck. It's economic suicide for rail. This beats oh. rail. So, and that's, that's I think, really quite, quite profound. Um, we're, we're confident that this is a product that is better in every way from a future standpoint, that wins on economics against uh, uh, diesel trucks in a worst case scenario, and that defeats rail um, in a convoy scenario. And pr production begins 2019. So if you order now, get part the truck in two years. In 2021. Um, Must adjust for Musk standard time. Yes. All right, so that's the, the Tesla the Tesla Semi. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Okay. Woo! Oh. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Dad. Oh, that's so, cool. so he didn't actually say how much purchase or lease would be. No, they just showed it basically per, per mile. Right. The, right. the question is, is it going to be like the solar roof thing where you're not actually buying a roof, you're buying electricity at a discounted rate, and Solar City's rake, quote unquote, is the difference in what it costs? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I doubt they would sell it per mile, um, but mm. they might. It's it's probably more likely a monthly lease, and they're just using typical miles driven. I'll leave the video up for a second. Mm -hmm. There's Elon shaking hands and and all Kissing of that. Kissing babies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Touch Iron Man. Yay! <laughs> right, right. So is that a frunk? That's what I was wondering they never too. Never said it. Frunk. Well, it's yeah. not a motor. I mean, so the right, question. Right. Yeah. I, it, who knows. And does the small one have the same range, or is it? Well, I think that the only I, I bet you it's configurable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say this. Maybe the small one's the regional thing. I don't know. 
but 500 miles and a 30 minute charge for 400 miles. That's incredible. That's crazy. Yeah, so they're right. Like if, if drivers are required to take a 30 minute break, they would come into the uh, truck stop, plug in, take their break, come back and they're good for another 400 miles. Right. Mm -hmm. That's that, crazy. That's impressive. Yeah, and if they can work with the trucking companies and have superchargers installed at the spots where the trucks are going to be anyway. Hey, wait, right, what's this? Right. Oh, here's the something special. What is this? It's a car. Oh. But wait, there's Monster. One more thing. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. One more thing, folks. What the frunk? <laughs> and that's what they need the runway for. Roadster 2.0. Oh, that is awesome. Is it Beastie Boys? Sabotage? Yeah. <laughs> I so desperately want that. I just need 55 more referrals. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Wow. Next gen roadster. Nice. Oh. Wait, there's one more thing. Yeah, they stole Mark Coughlin's line. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. We're converting Model 3 reservations starting tonight. Yes. So it turns out there was some cargo in the truck. There's some cargo in the truck. Uh, we thought we'd bring it out. Um, we, we started Tesla. We started Tesla with a sports car, Tesla Roadster. God, that is sexy. So that's that. That baby got us going. Uh, it's it's the it was the, the, the foundation of the whole company. It was the Tesla Roadster. People have asked us for a long time, when are you going to make a new Roadster? We are making it now. Yeah. And um, you know, there's uh, I don't know if you watch Spaceballs, maybe, but there's there's only thing there's only one thing that's beyond ludicrous, which is maximum plaid. <laughs> How fast is maximum plaid? God. There it is. What is it? 1.9? Yeah. We'll be the fastest car, production car ever made, period. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. And um, this, is the this is the base model. Okay. This is the base model. We're going to talk about Things beyond base, maybe next year sometime. This is the base model. Base model will do 0 to 16, 1.9 seconds. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, so then there's going to be a performance model and then the maximum plaid. Broken two. Well, what do you do if you're in a hurry? Yeah. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be the fastest to 100 miles an hour. 4.2 seconds to 100 miles an hour. Oh my god. How much money is plane coming in? It's out of jail. Okay. Um, it'll do the quarter mile in 8.9 seconds. Wow. Below 10 is awesome. It'll be the first time that any car has broken 9 seconds. Any production car has broken 9 seconds in a quarter mile. Yeah. These, are, these are all. These are all world records. Okay, this is what we're achieving in the prototype. I wouldn't say what the actual top speed is, but it's above 250 miles an hour. The, the range, this is gonna have a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack. 
Whoa. <laughs> 620 miles. <laughs> Six hundred six. This is these numbers sound nutty, but they're real. Um, six hundred six hundred twenty mile range. That's a, a thousand kilometer range. This will be the first time an electric vehicle breaks a thousand kilometers. A production electric vehicle will travel more than a thousand kilometers with a single charge at highway speed. That's wow. awesome. Just wow. Two hundred thousand dollars starting price. You think? I was just gonna say. Uh -huh. And back. Bugatti Veyron round sales plummet. The, the point of doing this is to just give a hardcore smackdown to gasoline cars. Yeah. <laughs> nice. There's the quote for tonight. Hardcore smackdown. Drive, dr driving a gasoline sports car is going to feel like a steam engine with a side of quiche. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I want that on a t-shirt. So one wheel drive, <laughs> one motor in the front, two on, two on the rear. we will do torque steering. As I said, 20 km hour, hour battery pack, 10,000 newton meters of torque. If you know what that means, it's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, it's also a four-seater. Yeah. What? So it's a two plus two. Two plus two. Okay, you can't put giant people in the in the rear seat. <laughs> yeah, let's be let's be honest. Okay, a giant person squashed, or a small small person fit in the back. Um, so, but it's a four seater. It's not like it's it's this is four Spoiners. seats. Spoilers. Um, it's a uh, convertible. So it's a uh, roofable roof. Um, it's uh, and it has uh, tons of storage. So you'll be able to like actually travel somewhere, bring bring luggage, bring whatever you want. Um, and have plenty of storage, carry four people. Like it's a real car, it's not just crammed in. Um, so it has all that functionality with four seats. No. What year? Mm -hmm. Who cares? No, he's one, one, just one family around? I need to know how long I have to get these 55 reservations. 2020. 2020. <laughs> 2020. Or, or 2039 okay. in Musk time. Come on now. Exactly. All right, all right, all right. Um, 2025. So come up. Would you like there to come you up? Come on up. Come on. Just pulling people over the audience. Touch. Everybody, flood it. Jump over. Jump over the fences. Someone's sick. Don't, don't bomb don't rush into the stage. Don't Everybody gets people. a piece of the roster tonight. One guy runs at the truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now you're not going to be able to see anything. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, pretty awesome. Okay, that was a much better event than uh, what happened with the Model 3. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my. Wow. Crazy. Reveal well, the truck. I and expect the Roadster to end the, the, the show. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. How did we not see those big honking mirrors? Okay, this on one the doesn't small have... One. This one right. doesn't have mirrors. Yeah, the other one, the, the black one has mirrors. The silver one doesn't. All right. Silver one probably has cameras. Right, but but those are illegal is, so far, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. You can't. States, yeah, but yeah, the, uh, it's it's a relic law that cars must be manufactured, vehicles must be manufactured with mirrors. Right. Yeah, and until the law changes, they're not allowed on the road. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I I think we we know people who have removed the mirrors from their cars and replaced them with cameras and they're legal they're, they're technically not street legal oh. the car certainly could never be manufactured that way well it looks like that is it for the video wow from the hawthorne airport and here we are you know Welcome what the, the, he, you know he he didn't Okay, maybe I wasn't paying attention maybe I was in the chat maybe what how, what did he say about the truck and autonomous drive he talked about the convoy right and he talked about and and i am not completely clear as to whether or not there's but the economics makes sense that there's no driver in the other two trucks that you are basically driving a truck train and the other two are following you but the autonomous is not 
he wasn't introducing it. He was saying that we could do this now, but he wasn't saying we are doing it now. Right. right. He says we we have the technology to do it now, but he never said that they were doing it. And I'm not really sure how that math works out. How it costs you a dollar fifty or a dollar twenty six a mile for one truck, but three trucks is only eighty five cents a mile. Like so well, eighty five cents per truck. Hard right, though, truck, you're not yeah. paying. You're not paying three drivers. Yeah, that's it. It's the driver yeah. wages that disappear. But okay, but that only that's works on the mean. interstate. You exit and you go into the city. You can't have three trucks. You can't have two undriven trucks driving no through. no you probably can't because you know they could be running lights and everything else like it, it would be you right. can't have three trucks that amount of space and expect them all to stay in line i mean you've inside got a city in inside a city setting yeah but you could go from distribution center to distribution you could yes maybe yes yeah. maybe most of those yeah. are right off the freeway for a very good reason right right yeah there are truck trains that operate now with like dual trailers right and those those are mandated to the distribution centers. So this is saying, yeah, we'll take we'll take three trucks. We'll maybe go beyond that, and they'll just drive from distribution center to distribution center, and you're not paying for the other two or three drivers. I, I, Where we, we we've said this before on the shows is that we expect it'll all be autonomous at some point. Right. I mean, I think right. that's the goal. That's yeah. what Elon's selling to the car to the to the trucking companies is is a way to get started towards yeah. that. Yeah, this gets you two thirds of the way there for some trips. Yeah, yeah. you're going to get and even the yeah. And he did say they're all going to come with enhanced autopilot standard. So when that is all working and the regulations are all in place, they've got the cameras there. They've got the mm -hmm. CPU there. Uh, they're working on the software. They're working on the legal issues. And one day they'll be able to just flip it on. Yeah. Hand I'm, walking papers to the drivers. Yeah, not so good right. for the. You know, not the so good for truck drivers. No. Because yeah. that's a you know, there's a lot of people that drive trucks. Yeah, and they get paid a, a fair wage for that, and uh, I, I just that income goes away. I know, but you know, we've been talking about this with cars, and I just think that it would be even longer for. For trucks to be fully autonomous and not have a driver in well, I, mean, I would think the opposite that, yeah i, I, I think, that, I think that's that where the money is tony that's where the money is they yeah. they are going to push that first right but we're talking what thirteen thousand pounds rolling down the interstate yeah but we're talking about from we're not talking about some like grandma driving around maybe i'm going to go to this store maybe i'm going to, go to this store we're talking about trucks that go from point to point it's very well defined there's no geofencing involved because the route is rigid. The well, route is rigid. And, it's, and it's typically on a road that's well marked. Yes. There's it's an interstate. Mucking around mm -hmm. on little weird rural roads or construction on cities. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. no, you're not seeing that, are you? So that's well, the difference yeah, between level four and five, right? Five can do anything a human can do. Where level four says, okay, I know these routes and these are the only routes I know. And I, and then I might not be able to do them in all weather conditions. See, that's, that's the thing. Yes, the route is defined. Yes, the road goes from point A to point B. But you have heavy rain, you have snow, you have wind, and you have all the variables of all the other cars on the road. And you know maybe all the other cars on the road can be handled in perfect weather. But when you complicate matters with actual weather, then it gets complicated. Quite frankly, right. so it, they, yeah. they start out in California and Arizona and places like that where it's a lot easier. And then as the technology improves, it spreads. Mm -hmm. And maybe they don't do it in the winter when the, the, there's bad weather. Maybe it's it's a seasonal thing. They hire seasonal mm -hmm. drivers to make up for those gaps. Yeah. And there's a few people in the in the chat talking about um, his boring company. Um, you know, would, oh, would there you go. You put them underground. And then underground. <laughs> yeah. that's, uh, that's awesome. Well, and then, and then Oscar <laughs> must have been watching last night's show because he mentioned the SpaceX transportation. Um, where you know, and, the, the and rocket delivery, delivery. The rocket yes. delivery, where they just land it in your in your. Uh, in your spot. Yeah. It's yeah. it's like the Amazon drone just on yeah. steroids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the BFR drone. Yes, yeah. 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 The rocket flies over and just shoots out drones, and they do all the little local deliveries. <laughs> 
But I mean, I, I fully agree with the distribution spot, the distribution spot, predefined in perfect weather. Yes, that, that can be done. But the variability of weather and all the other crap, just would that part would concern me if you take the, the people away. I, I agree, Tony, but I honestly think the trucking thing is so much easier than the personal automobile problem to solve. Right. With a personal automobile, like you said, Russell, you expect to be able to drive that in a lot of places, a lot of locations, where if you bought an autonomous truck because you have freight deliveries every week from A to B, and that's what it's been verified for and validated, and uh, you, you know that, and you've, you can track it on your computer from the, the fleet manager desk, and... Uh, it's it's so much simpler of a problem to solve for an engineer. If during the six times a year you have bad weather, you have to put drivers in them, net win. Mm -hmm. And I'm not I'm not. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm part of the part of me sees a whole bunch of jobs disappearing, and I'm hoping that on another end somewhere there's a whole bunch of new jobs coming in. But I'm not. That's not super clear to me. The, and ever since you know the Luddites were worried about the uh, weaving machines, we've had this debate. Well, <laughs> but I think it's a little. <laughs> we've had robots taking over manufacturing jobs. It's 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 not a new story. It, it's not a new story, but it's a continuing story. And the question is, I agree. You know how? Th 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 I, I'm not. I'm not a Luddite. I'm not saying smash the robots. What I'm saying is, let's definitely think about this and plan for it. Okay. Let's not just put another hundred thousand people out of work and go, <laughs> well, big fucking deal. You know what I mean? Cause we don't need that. We've got enough of that kind of stuff going on. And I'm not talking about 8,000 coal miners or less. No, you know? you're, you're talking about a lot of people that are involved in an industry that's been around for a hundred years. And, and yeah, a lot of reasonably well-paying jobs and all of a sudden that's gone and all those associated industries are gone. And that's a, that's a big economic disruption that isn't necessarily good for everybody in general. It's good for some people. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't think I'm being a Luddite. I mean, maybe I am. I don't know. So it's, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to yeah. happen slowly. So uh, if you're in school today, don't go into trucking. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 they've got it's all true. the stats. All the stats are up on the website. Now, if you go to tesla.com slash semi, like, ah, just in case, I mean, do we want to review that stuff? We still have a few hundred people here with us. And uh, just well, I would, would like the people to know that uh, they should uh, follow our feeds uh, through the week. Um, you should get on uh, the feed that you're currently on. Please subscribe, and you can get to our show that happens every week. You'll be alerted about it. Also, uh, the other show that we do is the, the Tesla Life. Uh, please subscribe to that and be alerted about the show starting up as well, uh, again, on a weekly basis. Um, also, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, uh, both at the, uh, the, the, the guessable addresses. So yeah. please please join us there as well through and uh, those feeds receive of course updates throughout the week. Absolutely. And of course, uh, youtube.com slash what drives us uh, subscribe there as well for our weekly shows and for these special events, facebook.com slash what drives us and what drives us on Twitter. Thank you very much, Mark, for that. I yeah. Uh, Knots and crosses has uh, informed me that the roadster prices is, is on the, uh, is oh, yeah, the, let's uh, go look at it. Well, how much is the roadster? Oh, yeah, we got to know that one now. I'm, I'm trying to load it now. Patrick, you your guess like, was 200K? You think yeah, that like, people yep. got committed suicide tonight? There's no roadster. Acceleration, uh, yeah. Uh, acceleration, insane. Zero to 100, if you have to ask. It's too fast. Quarter mile in, you've already missed it. Top speed, you didn't <laughs> see it coming. Will Torque's Those driving are not out to specs. rip the arm off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. That's a great he, joke. He says, um, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, wait. He said, did you say pricing? I don't see anything. Roads are pricing. I don't see pricing. You got me to look. Yeah, I got me to look. Uh, um, <laughs> right. Oh, base price. Base price. There, right there it is. $200,000. Woo, I nailed it. Wow. Yeah. Patrick <laughs> wins the prize. You want to take a guess on the base reservation? I'm going to say twenty grand. 
Ten thousand. Uh, Russell. I don't have a guess. Fifty thousand. Yeah. Wow. That doesn't surprise me. You and gotta put down a quarter of it. And there's there's going to be a founders series. <laughs> of course there is. Of course. There's autograph on the hood or what? Right, right. right. Two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. So they uh, are I, they I, are I can, I can on... see people slapping money down tonight. Oh yeah. This is going to be uh, what the Ferrari, the Bugatti, McLaurin. This is a people who buy the buy those cars are going to be Lamborghini. They're going to be looking at this. Yeah. So yep, we're all excited. We're all pumped up. We La got Ferrari. We just watched the event. Bye bye. But let me put this. Let me put this forward. So this this roaster is going to be out eh, 2020, 2021, maybe. Yeah, whatever it takes. I'm just saying it's 2017 right now. It's almost 2018. In mm -hmm. two or three years. How is that roadster going to look compared to the all-electric Porsche or the all-electric Ferrari, which also plans on making mm -hmm. their versions of those cars available at some time? Well, we'll see. Tesla, I'm just yeah, saying. A lot of, yeah. yeah. You, a lot you, of got, you, got, you, you have to, though, consider that, that Tesla's been at this with the same type of drivetrain now for many years the incumbents are going to come in and try to make their first version. Mm. They're going to go buy a Tesla. They're going to reverse engineer <laughs> it. Right. They're going to get the hacksaws there, out. There's, They're going to look at every little yeah. bit. There, they there is certainly, they are going to have to go through the learning curve and their vehicles are not going to be quite as good as someone that's getting into a second, third, and fourth generation car. Yeah, there's no Very question in my mind that they are years behind Tesla. I Maybe, maybe in technology, but in manufacturing, I, you, you know, Tony. that's the thing we no. were covering. We talked about this last night on the show. G GM is talking about a bunch of electrified vehicles coming out. And the difference is they have the capacity, they have the factories, and they have the knowledge on how to mass produce a bunch of cars real damn fast. They, they do. They do. And that's, that's a given. Yeah. But on the other side of the coin, Tesla's got the... As, as mentioned, the technology and the know-all to put, you know, that type of vehicle together, maybe not as fast, mm -hmm. but the parts that are in it and the balances that are there, they've got the advantage on that side. Right. Oh, right. Right. But it, it becomes a question of what outweighs what. Yeah. Yep. And uh, I, I wonder, with all these other cars, do they have a robust recharge network? Not really. Um, the CCS network isn't that big. They usually only have one there. If it's occupied or broken, you're stuck. Uh, Chatamo is on the decline. Well, actually, the CCS network has expanded rapidly over the past year, and it shows no no signs of slowing. So uh, that's good. I hope it. Uh, it is. It great. is growing in leaps and bounds. You don't see a 20-stall CCS uh, charger spot. I right. I can certainly concede to that. But they are growing, and the numbers are growing rapidly. Yeah, and they need to. If they're going to have a viable car that you can drive long distance, they've got to have a really robust charging network. And it has to be working all the time. And Tesla has skin in the game. It's got their brand on there and when you pull up you know you're at a tesla spot instead of um gm can say hey that's not my problem that's charge points problem or um mm -hmm. aerovironment's problem or yeah. abb's problem well that, uh, that that kind of brings up a good point as well with the the with the trucking do you think that they're talking about using the same charging spots that tesla cars currently use for trucks is so, that even an option or because they didn't really mention about truck stops or somebody, you know, off the highway having specific truck stop chargers. Right. They didn't mention mm -hmm. it. He did say that at their new mega supercharger stations, the huge multi-stall ones, that those would have support for the semi. Because if you, that, if you look at that new one that just opened in Cattleman City, there yeah. is no room to put a yeah. semi in that parking lot. No room at all. Right, right. There will be. Yeah, there will be. Yeah, I'm sure there will. I'm sure there will be. Or there will be Tesla truck stops very soon. Absolutely. 
Well, I, 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 I could, like, uh, I could yeah. see the other thing happening is that they get connected with a, a pilot or a, a Love's truck stop already that exists mm -hmm. and start plopping in superchargers at those stops. That would, make, would Yeah. That would that make perfect a lot more sense. sense. Wouldn't you happen to know that the I-80, uh, the famous I-80 truck stop is currently under remodeling? Not saying anything, just <laughs> throwing that out there. <laughs> yeah, so my guess is that these are going to be very, they're not just going to put them out. If you're selling a car to the general public, you have no idea where people are going to drive it. So you just have to look at all the interstates and then make a plan. We're here, they're going to say, okay, we're selling one to this company and they drive from here to there. Where are they going to need them? Okay, they can have one at, at their home spot, one at their destination spot. They might not need anything in the middle. And then for other routes, they, they might. And so they will, they will work with the people they're selling these trucks to to, to place them smartly. And with the size of battery that's going in this truck, uh, you mentioned, Patrick, that they have the ability to charge at a higher and faster speed because they can spread the load over the larger amount of kilowatts that are in the battery pack. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. The, the more cells you have, then when you, the more current you can take because each cell in that is uh, still getting a regular C amount. So it's, it's not, uh, it makes it a lot easier with a bigger battery pack to charge a lot faster. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe he mentioned anything about a next level charger during the walkthrough. He never said yeah. anything about that. He did not, but they did say, um, did it say 400 miles of charge in 30 minutes? He did. 400 yeah. miles in 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yes. So I don't know how much uh, it's using per mile, but we could we could figure out what that means. And if it's, if it's more than 120 kilowatt, then... Then you've got um, a faster charger. Exactly. Right. If someone in the chat room can do that math, I, I was an art. Go major. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was just now looking at the overhead map of the supercharger station, and I want to tell you, there's a shitload of space all around it. That's all I'm going to say. If they wanted to expand it, and it's a, a very oh, you're talking about Cattleman City. Oh, Cattleman City, yeah. Okay. There's more than enough room to expand for trucks. Yeah. More than enough room, and it is freeway convenient. Hmm. So, yeah. uh, so we got some stuff in the uh, in the chat. I'm going to go ahead and um, and mention out here. Dwayne has um, has mentioned that Tesla will lease the chargers to companies. Um, and Brad threw in that Elon had said that. So, um, so they're going to lease chargers to companies, and um, and then there was the question. Phil had asked, what about sleeping? Is there room for a bed? So it didn't look like the ones that they had on the stage were As, deep enough. Yeah. I, I don't, that's not it. That's I, not I wouldn't think that would be a big ad, like a big problem yeah. to add if you wanted to, right? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't think so. I, I don't know. He also did mention during it that there was something about a seven cent per kilowatt bulk rate on the electricity that was guaranteed. Right. He did. Yeah. And I don't know if that's because. It, it, would that I guess that would be an account that each company would have, and when they plug in the vehicle, they know what company it belongs to, and they could get that rate. Well, I, I got the impression that Tesla really wants to sell this as a package deal. Yeah, like you're just gonna, you want to move your container mm -hmm. x number of miles. If you do it with our equipment, it's going to cost you this much. Yeah, and that's an attractive proposal, you know. Because the maintenance all take care of. It's all rolled in, right? Right. It's all, it, that's it. He's, he's saying that the vehicle will go a million miles under warranty. He was, he was saying that the, you know, the glass is good for an atomic blast. Oh, God, please. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's saying the reliability is there because uh, if even two of the four motors go out, the vehicle is still operating. Right. Which is a that's a very cool thing. That's a and, and cool the vehicle is going to alert you about the maintenance it requires and when it requires it ahead of time. I, I have to admit I don't understand the jackknifing thing because the jackknifing thing to mm. me isn't just the tractor; it's the trailer, and it's that interface between the two. So if you don't have control of the trailer tires, they're just passive wheels. How does the the how do you controlling just the tractor wheels prevent jackknifing? Yeah, unless you can control the braking of those. And and they did say that it can pull, they, uh, they're going to have their own trailers or you can pull a standard trailer. They did mention that early in the beginning. He said it'll pull a standard trailer too. 
Hmm. Uh, when he was talking about the skirting on the sides and how those could be transferred to a regular. So they so, might have something special in there. Somebody said something about there being no wheels on one of the things, and I think that was just skirting. Yeah, yeah it was skirting, yeah. yeah. The wheels were yeah. covered. Uh, yeah. The black one, the wheels were showing, and the silver one, they were covered. Yeah, not the front mm -hmm. two, but the, the no, the the, yeah, the, the, the front two have to turn. The back ones, yeah, yeah. Behind yeah. It, exactly. like like the old yeah. the, the original Honda Insight had the exactly the right. I, I'm just looking through my notes, and I have the phrase "lease cost" in quotes, and I'm, you know, I I really feel like it's just the vibe that I got from this presentation that that Elon wants to sell FedEx or whoever mm. Amazon. You need trucks to go do this. Boom, we've got a solution for you. Yeah. Right, right. And there's a lot of companies that are going to come running for that. You know, big companies because it's going to make sense for them. They're going to yeah. they're not going to have mechanics, they're not going to have mechanic bays, they're not going to have a lot of stuff. You want to talk roaster? Let's talk roaster. Yeah. That's more people out of work, Russell. I can't believe you're supporting that. I <laughs> No, <laughs> you, man. Yeah. It's, it's, it was so does anybody, miles an hour? does anybody want to short some petrol stock? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not yet. Mm -hmm. Getting there. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, so Roadster, holy fuck. <laughs> I mean, okay. I, yeah, we've got to, we've got to put this, put this up here. Which um, oh. That is just one Why? sexy ass car that is pretty sweet that's um it's a gorgeous car yeah no question about it it's a gorgeous vehicle um i, I so just because this is my role uh the bullshit about the fourth seats and the third and fourth seats just stop who cares yeah, right yeah yeah Ain't maybe nobody buying maybe. this to move their family around okay right right it's you're buying that because it's an awesome two-seater car. Who cares? So I can put some groceries in the back. Yay me. Mm. All right. Yeah. I got to tell you, if I hadn't seen it on the stage, I would have said, it, that, that's a render. What, you know, whatever. <laughs> I mean, yeah. seriously, we would we, we ripped on renderings that. all the time, but we actually saw this car. Yeah. 1.9 seconds? Is that really fast? <sighs> I, you know, there are times in my commute on um, when I'm going to work, 1.9 is just not fast enough. I mean, so, 200 miles an hour, I have 24 miles to drive. And I, I, if I can't do it in under 10 minutes, you know. And just think, that's with this huge battery pack. So those batteries are... A kilowatt hour battery pack? Yeah. So if they did a uh, 100, yeah, so the specs are, um, yeah. it would be lighter and even faster. It obviously would not have the range, mm -hmm. but if, if performance is what they were going for, they could have made a 350-mile range vehicle and gotten even better performance. Who, who here drove the first-generation Roadster? I rode in. I, I didn't did. drive it. Okay, so there's two of us. Now, Patrick, you're a smaller guy than I am, but do you want to spend 600 miles in the first-generation <laughs> Roadster? Uh, no, I, not I, at I, all. Oh, hell No. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping this is a little bit bigger, and it looks like it definitely is. And, and you know, because, yeah, there's no – I mean, I love driving the Roadster, mm -hmm. but it was like I was in a sausage casing, for God's sakes. It was not yeah. – <laughs> and I'm not a small guy. You can tell from, you know, the video. But um, the Lotus Elise was was a very tiny car width-wise. Yeah, yeah. This looks sexy as hell. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it does. So do you, you know, think here, do you think it's a material roof or is it a I got the the roof as you scroll the page of the roof comes oh my god that's mm -hmm. sexy yeah. yeah does it retract into the back or is it like that's yeah I it it might just come maybe off. it's a piece of glass yeah it might come that's off that's what that's what you really put in the back seat you pop that off and you throw right. it in the back seat you know what the, <laughs> Here's how it works. You're so rich, you don't give a shit. It flies up into the air. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you buy another one. You just go get two more. Yeah. Yeah. You, you phone ahead and a valet fixes the car to the configuration you want, and you just step out and drive it. You get like six of them when you buy the oh, car new. So. There it is right there. Okay. I should have just scrolled a little more. Lightweight, removable glass roof oh, stores in the trunk for an open-air convertible driving experience. I don't Beautiful. want to go 200 miles an hour in a convertible. 
Bro, you, it'd suck you right out like an like an airplane. <laughs> like, I've done 110 on a motorcycle. It's scary. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look at the steering wheel. You see that? Is it, is it, <laughs> oh stupid no! Stupid prototype. Yeah. yeah. Airline air airline, pilot yeah, uh, yeah. controls. Are there are there forward facing machine guns? <laughs> yeah, there might be. And it, steering, I think they convert it to a submarine. Yeah, and clearly <laughs> this is a running because there's there's no seam for the frunk. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah. And why would again a right, frunk right. in this car? Like, mm -hmm. so really quickly go over the specs: um, zero to sixty in one point nine seconds, zero to a hundred in four point two seconds. 8.9 second quarter mile that is the first production vehicle to ever break nine seconds according to elon um 200 kilowatt battery uh kilowatt hour battery excuse me 620 miles of range at highway speed he said highway, that's huge yeah yeah which yeah. Means EA would be even better uh 2020 delivery does anybody have a comment on that yeah not gonna happen that's Elon I'll, I'll time. I'll take the over. That's Elon, Elon time. time. Yeah, okay. yeah. Good call, Patrick. Thank you. <laughs> well mm -hmm. said, sir. I, I, that's an amazing car and a great yeah. one. And that truck presentation. Yeah, that I did not see that coming. No. Hey, cheers to that, man. I mean, right, right. I, I think after the lackluster uh, Model Three reveal thing, you know, that we saw. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, okay, this uh, they're getting better at this. That's good. So so based on what we saw tonight, what do you think the stock price does tomorrow morning? Oh, we can does look it, at after does it hours jump, right now. Does yeah. it jump crazily? Do you want the real yeah. answer or do you want the, the – I want the real answer. I'm pumped full of adrenaline and I'm happy. Mm -hmm. uh, I, so the stock is uh, down. Um, it's It's been down um, – it was below 300 for a while. So it's sitting, I think, like 312 or something. Yeah. So my guess is that it's it's taken a jump on this news because it has room to move up because it's recently down. It's uh, and and this, this was all good. Um, th there was nothing here that was like, oh, that uh, they're not going to sell any of those. Nobody's going to want that. There was, there was no disappointment. So uh, I think it's going to take a bump, definitely. See, or it already has after hours taking a bump. And this is where why I think stock price is so ridiculous because it's not as though... Um, it's not as though anything announced tonight has anything to do with the stock price. The issue is still Model 3. And well, oh yeah. well, again, again, stock price is really about future sales. And nothing right. short, more short term volatility. It, 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 is about, it is about the prospective sales cycle that is ahead and not present today. Yeah, and these, when these are things that are just adding. Hype. These are things that are just adding <laughs> to the total of what's available and what could be sold. So I would yeah. say that, yeah, I, I would say that this is part of the stock price because stocks mm -hmm. have always been based on future sales that aren't today. Okay, right, right. right. So right. everything that happened tonight is going to give them weeks of good press, and oh, that's lots. going to, yeah, yeah, and that's going to help bump up the price. Yes, in the yes. short term. Like you uh, said, Russell, the, the, the real long-term value of the stock is what they can deliver. The short-term, anytime, it's all about hype and news cycle. Right. Mm. And this was good. So it'll go up. No doubt. Uh, best, maybe the best presentation since the Model 3 reveal. And maybe better than the Model 3 reveal. I think it was better than the Model 3 reveal because he wasn't heartbroken. He was actually <laughs> having fun tonight. No, no, not the deliver, not the but the other one. Oh the old, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, right. the one back in March, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sixteen. Yeah, yeah, that one. That was good. That right. was good because yeah, there was a lot of it was yeah, right. it, it moved, and I think Elon's still a little stiff and still a little. Mm -hmm. but this was better, and the, you know the trucking thing may not be as sexy as the Roadster, but it certainly, um, it, it, it God, I hate this word. It has the potential to be a huge disruption. Yes. Oh, drink. Uh, drink. There we go. <laughs> 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 yep, disruption. I'm out of tea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of Fumley. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you're right. You're exactly right. I mean, you know, you don't look at most people don't look at look at you know semi tractor trailers and say you know semis and say that's sexy. 
but they are everywhere and they are important and they move goods across the land and this could be extremely disruptive huge huge yes. very important absolutely but and it's interesting about the center seat in the truck as well yeah There's, there was chatter in the in the chat about that and one of the uh one of i now i'd have to scroll all night to find out who said it but someone in the chat said a center seat doesn't have to be adjusted internationally. And that is a good observation. Oh, that's yeah. Just, you don't need left hand, right hand drive systems. You, can, well, you have multiple I, factories manufacturing these things around the world and you have center drive regardless. And, and we didn't get to see, but I wonder if there's like a, like a, a seats behind it for a passenger. You know, I, someone, someone said that Elon drove the semi in, but it looked like, yeah, he did. Are you sure he no, did? No, because it, the, the, it looked to me it, like there was he a. He showed up in the silver rig, right? He showed up in the silver yeah. one, and there was a driver in in the center position. The whole thing. He sat there. He sat there in the truck. So when Elon got out, another guy got in. No, well, that that could be possible. No, too. no, 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 no. Go to the tape. Well, I don't we, think that happened. Yeah, I think there was the a tape. driver, and Elon no was arguing. behind the driver. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But I'm wondering if like there's a bench seat behind the right. behind the center seat or if there's like flanking seats to the right and to the left. Or maybe there's roadster seats in the back. Of the yeah, I mean, <laughs> in this prototype, who knows? Yeah. You know, maybe there's a yeah. twin bed bed. You know? we're, we're haggling over a prototype. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you can't pick up hitchhikers. No hitchhikers. No hitchhikers. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Where do you yeah. put that? Wait, you know, unless they're doing the uh, what was their convoy thing called? Where it's following? What? What? Uh, they could. They could, There's two more seats. Right. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you put them in the remote truck. Is that it? You don't right. Have yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you take the bed out of the semi, then you have a whole nother group of unemployed people at truck stops. There we go. Uh, yes, all, indeed. All the lot lizards unemployed. Uh, yeah, that was what people were saying in the chat. Is without the yeah, without the bed, you can't pick up lizards. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I ain't gonna go anywhere. I think Dwayne Dwayne knows way too much. Uh. Dwayne in the chat. <laughs> yep. I'm looking at my notes to see. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, whatever. So totally uh, the rain. Back, back to the uh, new Roadster there for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, way back when I first got into electric vehicles, uh, we, we rented out Pioneer Courthouse Square and the, the new Roadster was there. And next to it is this little Datsun that this guy had converted. And he's got a plaque there and he shows it smoking its tires on his poster. And it, uh, it says 1.6 second, zero to 60. What? I'm like, what? Yeah, exactly. What? This is a yeah. Datsun. What are you talking about? So I, I uh, didn't know uh, a lot about this guy at that time. It turns out he's very famous in the EV conversion Wait, community. Wait, I think, I think I know who it is. It's, I'm not going to ruin it. I'm not going to ruin it. No, no story. go ahead. Uh, it, uh, so it, anyway, that that car was the white zombie. The white zombie. And, yes, there's yes, all kinds yep, of videos John about the Wayland. white zombie. Right, there's tons of videos out there, and uh, I was like, Tesla is this got this awesome car, and this guy built this in his garage, and it can beat mm -hmm. a Tesla. Uh, well, he he did a lot more. It's not just he's not just your average guy, but yeah. uh, now now Tesla's down there, and uh, that was their standard. So they saw the performance and their maximum plaid. Mm -hmm. So uh, they finally, Elon might be able to beat John Whalen. <laughs> After all these years. Yeah, he finally kind of. Yep. Yep. Well, I, I mean, and, you know, I, the important thing is production car. Not yes. hand built one off, not, you know, production car. No, Come they're just, yes. just going to be rolling off and selling to the public. Yeah. Although our which, is, which is also scary, right? So you've got people that just have money <laughs> that can buy these super fast cars and are released onto the streets of the nation. Yeah. Yikes. Any suicides <laughs> at Dodge headquarters tomorrow? <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a whole like Hellcat, Thundercat, whatever bullshit super yeah. car they come out with to, you know. Are we finally done with that crap? So I you know, yeah, I, yeah. I I did I didn't write it down. What was the Smackdown crap. I, now I should have written it down. 
What did he, he want? He wanted to. He wanted to give the 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 gasoline car a, a smackdown. Right. Yeah, and this is this is it. This is yeah. certainly going to do it. When this car hits the streets after the first few people have taken delivery and posted videos of people wetting themselves in the back seat. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. There's videos today of uh, S's and X's beating Dodge Hellcats. This is yeah, going to just yeah. leave them in the dust. It'll look like they're not even moving. Right. right. And right. That, that's the thing. And, and again, you know, the argument has always been, well, in the quarter mile, not so much anymore even. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's, yeah, this is a top speed of 250. <laughs> right. A, a yeah. little bit off topic, but did you guys see the most recent uh, Bjorn video? Where uh, he he asked the question of uh, how can you make an Audi uh, 2014 TT go faster than its production numbers, and it's it it views out and it shows him that he's pulling one on a trailer with his Model X, <laughs> and he beats the standard numbers of the car pulling the trailer. On oh, it. That's not, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That actually is probably pretty appropriate. I mean, that is awesome. Yeah, I see. Yeah. A friend of mine has a Dodge Hellcat, and I sent him a video <laughs> of a Tesla hauling a Dodge Hellcat and then beating a Dodge Hellcat while hauling a Dodge Hellcat. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Your car sucks. <laughs> I, I, I mean, back in the day, I had a muscle car, too, and I get it. It's fun, but... It's twenty. Right in 1969, that was awesome. In 1979, <laughs> that was awesome. But right, right. I had a '69 Charger. Uh, Charger. Um, what do I have? 1969 Charger SE. It was um, Hunter Green with white gills. It was awesome. I had a '70 Challenger. Ah. 346 pack in uh, olive drab, by the way. Yeah. yeah. And it got seven miles to the gallon, I think. Oh my yeah, I, gosh. I don't even have any idea what, what and I, I did. Because gas costs like 90 cents. I know. I didn't care at the time. Yeah. 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 Like, my God, where am I going to get a dollar a gallon for gas? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is how bad, like, the, this is that conversation that Tony and I just had just now is why I'm so tired of like the, the Hellcat Hemi will beat the. No, just stop. Yeah. It's stop. over. It, but, that, it's yeah. Okay. I I got nothing else, guys. Yeah, uh, it's, fun. it's it's been a it's been a great evening. Uh, we appreciate everyone that's uh, followed us along uh, on this journey uh, this evening. And again, please uh, click the little subscribe button uh, on your browser there and yeah. uh, follow us on our weekly shows. Please Definitely, do. if if you don't, if yeah, I was gonna say if if you like this, but who does? If you can tolerate this. <laughs> um, for a period of time. Um, we do this every week, and we have two shows. And uh, Mark has up the um, at the Tesla Life, where you can find him on Twitter. Um, and we also do the What Drives Us podcast. Both of them we record live Wednesday evenings. And um, subscribe to this one, and you'll get a notification when we're live. Join us on the chats. You can download us. We're on Stitcher, Slacker, iTunes. Um, what else, Russell? I have no idea. <laughs> we're, on, we're on this thing called the inner tubes, and, uh, and that's not inner tubes; it's inter tubes. Oh but, yeah, we uh, should stop. We should stop um, talking about Stitcher because right now it's just YouTube, right? So yeah, YouTube. Oh, okay. uh, the important address: YouTube.com/slash What Drives Us. Go there, subscribe. You will be notified of most of our mm -hmm. shows, or and, go to YouTube yeah. and search the Tesla Life Show. Mm -hmm. Look for our shining red logo, very familiar, and subscribe to that, and you'll you'll be covered. That's and you'll be have. notified yeah. every week when we come online uh, or for these live broadcasts uh, as well. Absolutely. Right. Every once in a while, it sounds like we know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mistakes was, happen. Yeah, <laughs> the coefficient of drag, but nah, who cares? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, you know what? They didn't. He didn't give the coefficient on the um, – on the roadster, but it's got to be. It's got to be like with one point yeah. nine seconds. It's got to be like non-existent. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. You know, it's it's like the Bugatti Veyron. It's like it. Okay, so the Bugatti Veyron doesn't have a great coefficient of drag. Who cares? It's a two million dollar car that pushes mm -hmm. through the air so hard it doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. It's about the results. 
Yeah. It's not the way to get there. Yeah. 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 In that case, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, hey, Patrick, Tony, Mark, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks to the um, almost 300 people who joined us live. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that is awesome. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone in the chat. I can't possibly go through the chat. Yeah, the chat room. Thanks, everyone yeah. in the chat. Yeah, this is awesome. I've, I, you know, I, I've been trying to interact. I've been trying to keep up. I try to bring um, you guys into the conversation. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Absolutely. Take a big drink, everybody in the chat room. Take a drink. You yes. deserve. This one's wait a minute wait a minute to you guys Did you refill that glass russell because i'm pretty sure that's what you started with <laughs> all yeah, right all right it. there it yeah. is <laughs> that bottle was full when the show began okay. that's right all right that's it just just make it sure that's all i'm gonna say um so again thanks to all of you guys thanks to everybody uh for for coming in and hanging out with us we had a blast doing this and um, please come in and check us out. Uh, subscribe or at least. Do not no. subscribe we to Cox Russell again. <laughs> you you froze. You're back. You're back, Russell. I froze? Oh, God. yeah. Cox. Froze, right? Thank yeah. you, Cox Cable. Yeah. <laughs> All I'm going to say is uh, tune in next week and find out what drives us. Wednesday night. See on the you. tubes. Tesla. Dun, 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 dun.